Welcome back to Abowski Studio, everybody. This is Bruce. Today we're going to be painting this little urban sort of a mining facility and enjoy the beautiful day. So thanks for joining me. Here's what we're going to be painting today. I really like the vertical element there with the uh, little silos and of course the uh, rooftops. Really find that uh, the focal point and uh, that's what I'm going to enhance in the painting and uh, bring out the uh, structure in the organic environment. Here's my setup. I'm using an 8x10 cigar box from Gorilla Painter. Really like this box. It's a little bit lighter kit than my 9x12 Gorilla box. And I've painted with it before, but not a lot. And I just want to lighten the kit a bit, so I'm going to practice using it. So first thing I got is a little dioxazine purple in there. And you can use any tone in here. I'm working on a light gray panel, 8x10. And to get the lighting and shade in, I'm just doing a little value with a little turpentine with the dioxazine purple. You can use burnt sienna or whatever, but it's going to help me establish lights and darks because light's going to change pretty fast. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning and I think it moves a little faster as it arcs across the sky, gets a little slower and have a little more time. So we'll see what happens. Trying something a little different here. I'm just going to, rather than do like a line drawing type of thing, I'm going to try to find the masses and just get those in. And then I can wipe out the roof lines that you see right here in the uh, tone sketch and see if how that goes. So I can establish some uh, proportions and fit it onto the 8x10 panel. Just want some stopping points. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection. At this point, we're looking for just a generic sense of the buildings. And then we can finesse once we like the composition. We can go from there. And I like how it blows off a little bit on, it's gonna blow off a little bit on the left-hand side. I don't know if you can see in, in frame with me painting, I'm trying to find proportions on the fly. Can be a little tricky, but then you can see that proportion's way off. We'll make that the side like this. You can just work and find your way. No commitment to a line drawing. And this is a little bit of a process, especially if you don't normally do this sort of thing in terms of finding the masses first. Get that roof line. Don't have my tripod today. I'm trying something just to, again, to lighten the kit. And as I come along and keep applying tone uh, lines, I can start to see it sort of coming together. And the height of the tower over here, so it needs to be a little higher. You don't want too close to the edge of the canvas, though. Hmm. Do what you got to do to make it work. When I start really shaping up lines is when it's going to get back in shape, so to speak. Just some generic. And this whole busyness down here, down in this area, with the lines, the support structure, I'll just kind of suggest that later on. And then foreground bushes. And there's a nice set of dark trees over here to set off. Okay, works enough for me. Now let's finesse the drawing. Okay, this is what I got going on so far. And I got my basic value tone in, as you can see in the background over there. And now I'm just gonna, I applied some white paint to the palette. I'm just going to use the purple and the white to create my value study basically and uh, of course with the white that's going to stay wet for a while 
But uh, that's the attempt I'm going to do and uh, get rolling and create that. Now the idea of using the white and the purple is to really set your values right off, especially on a bright sunny day and the light's changing fast. It's a super fast way to get those values in. And for the way I work, if you've seen my channel for quite a while, you know that I, I really love more of a realistic effect with a little bit of painterly uh, brushwork. And so that's what I'm attempting here. And it's gonna allow me to just make a decision that is, is it lighter or darker? And I don't have to worry about is it more green, blue, purple, whatever color. The color can come later because it's kind of not going to matter what actual color that is it's, as long as the values match. That's the plan. So this is what I'm talking about with uh, really paying attention to getting the values down, get the structure in before the light changes because look what's going on. We are totally, I wouldn't call it overcast, but it is flat light. I've lost everything. But, because I captured the value structure right up front, I'm building on what I remember from when I started. So hopefully the sun burns this off. We'll see. Okay, the light is still not changing. It's been about a half an hour, and uh, but I'm sticking to my original battle plan, and I'm applying some strong lights to the area where the roof is catching the sunlight from earlier to make this kind of pop a bit, and especially when I get over to the little conveyor belt thing over there. That's going to be kind of a nice uh, element. I'm just blocking in a little bit of the roof tone to get a value. And I'll probably be wrapping this up soon because the light is not going to come back out. Even if it did, the shadows are completely different. Which kind of doesn't matter because I've mapped out the drawing ahead of time. And that's why I suggest you do the same also. Okay, just a little update. Uh, it's really come along I'm establishing some uh, really dark darks and some lights. And you can see over here at the bottom, there's some dark undertones, like there's a little overhang that I don't have represented here. And I think it really needs it to pick up some darks from over here. I might even push the darkness of the side of the building, even though you can see basically it's a two-tone building, which in real life looks a little odd. So you can imagine when it's light and shade out, it would be uh, difficult to explain that without more information on the other side that you can't see. So I'm going to work on bringing some more darks over. But I'm liking how it's coming out. Obviously no color yet, but uh, the values are uh, shaping up. Okay, I'm going to be wrapping it up. It is pretty much flat, very flat light right now. And I've just been toiling away, working on the rigging supporting the silos over here as you can see in the painting just getting some tones in there some value tones and uh, really liking how it looks it has some nice structure and when this dries i'll be putting the uh, tones over i did take a picture uh, when we first started as you saw with the uh, highlights on everything so i'll be using that for reference to finish this up in the studio Okay, I'm all packed up and ready to head home. What a great time I had painting. Super awesome. Even got a little swimming in. And at the end of my painting session, I swam across the river and did a little the uh, rope swing. Jumped that a couple times. That was super awesome. But if you were new watching for the first time, thank you very much for uh, joining me for this little episode. And I invite you to subscribe if you like the content so you can see future videos. And uh, until the next video, see you everybody. Bye.